program is sponsored by the Mississippi Economic Council. The Economic Council realizes that the future of our state's economy is based on the readiness of our young people for college and career readiness, as, as we were just saying. So the finalists for this year have excelled over a four-year period. This is not just about seniors. This is about four years of excellent attendance, deportment, community involvement, uh, curriculum that they have to adhere to, and a minimum GPA. It, it looks at the holistic student, the well-rounded student. We have a number of finalists tonight. We would ask that you hold your applause uh, until the end, and students, as I call you, come up one at a time, but stay here in the front for a photo uh, once you've all been presented. So first we have Kiana Abraham. Next we have, Kiana, thank you. Next we have Asia Brown. Next, Michaela Dorsey, Joseph Ertle, Deja Felix, Tyler Jackson, Michaela Lumpkin, Sarah Beth McKellar. Alicia Moore, Smith Patel, Carly Smith, and Molly Starnes. As I say, this is, this is really an exemplary group that worked hard for four years consistently to achieve this level. I will also add that this year's class represents a 33% um, increase over the number last year. And each year, through the efforts of the administrators, the faculty at the Vicksburg Warren School District, we hope we'll continue to see those numbers grow. The efforts are a part of, uh, Carl and I are a part of the Chamber of Commerce in working with the school system. We both serve on the steering committee for the College and Career Academy, the Vicksburg Warren College and Career Academy. And so, um, as we were, as we heard earlier, our mission is to ensure that all of our young people graduate college and career ready. All education leads to employment is the belief of the school district and the business community partners with them in this effort. So we appreciate very much all of your hard work and we look forward to having you a part of the workforce of Warren County in the future. In recognition of their efforts, each of the scholars represented here tonight has earned a $100 textbook scholarship for the schools that they'll go on to um, achieve even greater levels of education and career readiness. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Brock Hass. I serve as the Dean of Secondary Education at Hines Community College. And I want to do something a little bit different. I'm probably going to embarrass some kids, and that's all right. What I'd like to do is for every single high school student in the auditorium right now, please stand up. It doesn't hurt, your legs work. Now, each of you students, I would like for you to give a round of applause to your family that is here tonight for supporting you. You may be seated. Without the support of your family, none of this would be possible. So parents, brothers, sisters, cousins, I want to thank all of y'all for being here. Uh, know that we at Heinz 
have had the pleasure of educating these young minds and doing our very best with them. So without further ado, I could talk all night. We're going to present the awards. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, Agriculture and Natural Resources. This is Dr. Cedric Sin. He's our instructor. As I call your name, uh, if you're present, please come to the podium and receive your certificate in court. Jacob McCloskey, year one, first and second semester, highest GPA. Due to the substantial volume of students we're recognizing, I'm going to ask everybody to hold your applause until we get everybody up here. Thank you. Uh, Maria Mitchell, year two, first semester, highest GPA. Okay. Caleb Foxworth, year two, second semester, highest average, and two year completer. Our completers for the second year are Eric Bates, Nicholas Breland. Alan Frank, Patrick Hogan, and Terrence Moore. Way to go, guys. Dave Ellison, who is our automotive instructor, could not be here this evening, so Dr. Sims is going to be doing double duty. For automotive technology, Mr. Dave Ellison, we have several year two completers. Michael Baboski, Jordan Lyons, Sarah Beth McKellar, Dustin Parker, William Shelby, and Robert Ward. Okay, Sarah Beth McKellar. Good evening. I'm Leslie McGee, the second and third year biomedical teacher. With the help of Ms. Lamb, Sylvia Lamb, who's the biomedical one teacher, we will hand out skulls to our second and third year completers. Third year completers are Cornisha Cheney, Janisha Black, Molly Thorne, Alicia Moore. Our second year completers are Daylon Bridges, Asia Brown, Reed Boz, Michaela Dorsey, Tyler Jackson, Micaiah Lumpkin, Sarah Beth McKellar, Bailey Newell, Carly Smith, Asia Wilson, and Kaylee Wright. participated in our first year and our graduating seniors this year will receive cords. Our first year completers are Laura Reagan Lowe, Hunter Lee, Kelsey Lockridge, Preston Hall, Sean Daly, Monterio Jefferson, Landon Bull, Ariel Connor, Caleb Curtis, Shandria Tucker, Kaylee Vines, 
Anthony Walker, Robert Wilson, and Reginald Johnson. Our next award is the end of course test. Our Project Lead the Way students take a very uh, tough nationwide end of the course test. And we wanted to honor our students that were top scorers in that. We'll start with uh, Catherine Torres Cruz, Hannah Parker, Laura Reagan Lowe, Hunter Lee, Simran Patel, Tyler McGee, Caitlin Knighton, Anita Reed, Kaya Gaines, Ashley Gatchell, Jane Hobson, Kennedy Fitzgerald, Asia Brown, Erica Jackson, Shanitra Lee, Makaya Lumpkin, Emma McLeod, Carly Smith, Kaylee Wright, Janisha Black, Cornisha Cheney, Alicia Moore, and Molly Starnes. Our biomedical three medical interventions highest average goes to Molly Starnes. Our biomedical two human body systems highest average goes to Alicia Moore. And principles of biomedical science, our first year. Uh, Biomedicine goes to Hunter Lee. <laughs> this year we also started the tradition with uh, a poster contest for biomedical science careers. And I'm proud to uh, say that we had an industry partner, Mike Smith of Staffing Solutions Limited, who provided prizes for our winners. So Leanna Goss, top winner for a $100 prize. Uh, second place.
place was Preston Hall for a $50 prize. And third place is Kennedy Fitzgerald for a $25 prize. Again. Uh, up next, we would like to celebrate our students um, in the business fundamentals and marketing. Uh, Ms. Kanisha Patterson is their instructor. Unfortunately, she would not be here this evening. So I've got uh, Chef Lily here to assist. Uh, for year one, first and second semester highest average, Rhodesia Lindsay. For year two, first and second semester highest average and two year completer, Deja Felix. And then our senior two-year completers are George Brown, Jaden Chaitlin, Kamisha Jackson, Kevius McDaniel, and Micah Reed. All right, give it up for Deja. The next department is carpentry and construction. Uh, it's Mr. Mark Mitchell. Again, unfortunately, could not be here this evening, so Chef is pulling triple duty. We have for year one, first semester highest average, James Null and Bobby Sorrells. Good deal. For year one, second semester highest average, William Thigpen. Year two, first semester highest average, Jeremiah Caitlin. Year two, second semester highest average, Khalil Carson. We also have our year two, first semester highest average and two year completer, Ms. Brooke Clark. Brooke was also elected as the Mississippi Construction Education Foundation's Student of the Month and as the 2019 MCEF Student of the Year, where she received a $500 scholarship. She could not be here this evening. Our year, year two completers that are seniors are Tommy Bester, Tamarius Clark, Roderick Hayes, Jayla Jackson, Zion Jones, John Terrio King, Kayla Legg, Marcus Williams, and DeMonte Woodson. Okay, Carpenter, good job, guys. We are very fortunate to have two culinary arts instructors. Uh, so we've got twice the awards to give out. We have uh, Chef Cedric Lilly who'll be going first and then Chef Josh Phillips will be going second. So for Chef Lilly's class, year one, first and second semester highest average, Thomas Burton. <laughs> got a couple more. Year two, first and second semester highest average, Jennifer Ainsley. And our senior two-year completers are Jamie Davis, Winston Davis, Ranisha Drayton, Angelica Hampton, Cammie Mills, Razdashan Washington, and Catrice Wilkerson. Next, we will have our uh, Chef Phillips uh, class. Year one, first semester highest average is Tyler Smith. Year one, second semester highest average is Caitlin Hendrick. Year two, first semester highest average and two year completer, Joshua Pettifoot. And then year two, second semester highest average, Catriona Johnson. And then our senior completer is Otis Wallace. And while I have all the culinary students up here, I have to brag on them a little bit. Uh, for the first time ever on May 14th of this year, we did what we called a food truck challenge, a mock food truck challenge, which was really cool. All the, the students competed. There were five teams competing. 
um, to put forth a, a, a chicken dish that was uh, both delicious and sustainable and able to give out enough. And um, I think we have our winners here. Raise your hand. Uh, the sauce, is it the sauce bones? Sauce it up. So uh, I was really proud of these guys. They did great. Not only did they learn marketing, cooking, but also carpentry because we had to create the food trucks. So let's get up for culinary. Next, we have early childhood education. Uh, Ms. Kay Cheney is the instructor. Chef Phillips is going to help me hand things out. Year one, first semester highest average is Angel Lions. Year one, second semester highest average is Michaela Merrill. Year two, first semester highest average and two year completer, Jamisha Jones. Year two, second semester highest average, Jerry Busby. And our completers are Alicia Brannon, Charmaine Burton, Jordan Hartley, Demaria Hemphill, Hannah Husky, Shanice Jackson, Tyronda Mitchell, Dejana Nichols, Kenitra Promise, and Demaya Woodson. Okay, early childhood. What are you Engineering 1 and 2 instructor, and this is Beth Kropak, Engineering 1 instructor. Uh, first up, we're going to recognize our third year completer. This year was our first year to have a third year student, uh, and it goes to David White. Our second year completers are Teresa Brown, Shiv Patel, Cortavius Ross, Brianna McKenzie, Cedric Jones, Jordan Davis, Kiana Abraham, Ronisha Davis, Braxton Morrison, Chase Stevenson, Kadarius Jackson, Kendarius James, Smith Patel, and Abigail Wallace. First year completers, Kendarius Burrell, Leon Bryant, Patrick Walton, Corey Wilson, Brian Dossey, to Michael Jackson, Tyler Hearn, Tyree Washington, Devin Montgomery, Hank Holdenis, George Gaskin, Carter McElroy, and Kean Miller. Let's give these students a round of applause. students scored high on our end of course exam for this school year. For intro to engineering design, Michael DeJesus, Danielle Ivestia Robinson, Neil Santapara, and Jonathan Gregerson. For principles of engineering, Neil Santapara, Danielle Ivestia Robertson, and Michael DeJesus. One more two-year completer, Joseph Ertl. <laughs> Joseph also gets highest score on the EOC for computer integrated manufacturing, along with Abigail Wallace and Kadarius Jackson.
For our final engineering course, the students don't take an end of course exam. However, they have to present their capstone project, a semester long project in engineering design. The highest scoring presentations for this semester go to Kiana Abraham and Kadarius Jackson. students had the highest average for our courses this year. For principles of engineering, Stephen Tony. For, for intro to engineering design, Michael DeJesus. For computer integrated manufacturing, Robert Henson and Kiana Abraham. For Engineering Design and Development, Kendarius James. <laughs> Lastly, we participated in several competitions this year. Uh, first being the Mississippi Department of Transportation Bridge Competition. The following students uh, were selected to compete at the state level. On the team Excellence Builds, Zachary Shedd, Cameron Bracey, Jeremiah Ellis, and Devin Vega. On the team Two Official, Jalen Bohannon, Stephen Tony, Dennis Walker, and Kadarius Jackson. On the team Garter, George Gaskin, Carter McElroy, Hayden Hughes, and Kean Miller. On the team below zero, Desmond Davis, Ali Selby, Jonathan Gregerson, and Edward Jones. Lastly, we're going to recognize our robotics team for this year. Our senior for this year is Joseph Ertl. We have two other students who have served two years or more uh, throughout their high school career, Sarah Beth McKellar and Smith Patel. This year, selected as the team's dean's list and a state dean's list finalist, goes to Michael DeJesus. And then the remaining team members, Zachary Shedd, Carmel Dixon. Thank you. Okay, up next we have uh, Health Sciences One. And again, we're, we're very fortunate to have two faculty members. Uh, this is a huge field and continues to grow. Uh, Mrs. Vera Igbakwe and uh, Ms. Gloria Thomas. So we will talk about Ms. Igbakwe students first. For year one, first and second semester highest average, we have Ariana Stamps. I believe her mother is here is that correct? to receive her award. And for Mrs. Thomas, for year one, first and second highest semester average, we have Ms. Erica Tucker. All right, let's give a round of applause. instructor that teaches our clinical portion of health sciences and that's always our second year students and that is uh, Mrs. Eloise Ford so we're going to celebrate her students year two first semester highest average and second year completer Miss Rianne Ponder and year two second semester highest average Jayla Holt and our year two completers are Jalen Besser Jaquela Brown Alexis Cook, Sarah Emerson, Shaquavia Ford, 
Ashley Green, Mayana Johnson, Reginald Johnson, Ajayla Lee, Kaylin Means, Nikidra Odoms, Ashley Oliphant, Jamia Oliver, Destiny Pearson, Delizia Ross, Sarah Hiana Ross, Jasmine Sanders, Maya Shorter, Destiny Taylor, and Mackenzie White. What a big group. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Next, um, we have another program that's, that's grown to have two faculty members that are involved in that, and that's Law and Public Safety. Uh, Mr. Joey Wisnowski could not be here this evening. We have Mr. Anthony Renfro, who's our Law and Public Safety instructor, as well as a uh, Raymond Police Department officer. So for Mr. Wisnowski's group, for first year, first and second semester highest average, we have William Day. And for their second year, first and second semester highest average, we have Zach Hearn. For Mr. Renfro's group, first year, first and second semester highest average, Talitha Smith. And second year, first and second semester highest average, Nicholas Bailey. And we have several year two completers. And they are Kayla Bird, Lamaria Carter, Jalen Glass, Jasmine Harris, Jalen Lawrence, Joseph Lowry, Michaela Mack, Cody Pearson, Arthur Robertson, Peerless Smith, Charnita Stapleton, Tyrantia Wallace, and John Wright. Way to go, guys, all in public safety. to have a licensed practical nursing program. So many of these students that graduated from health sciences and completed will move on to that LPN program. It's got some stricter guidelines, but the really cool thing is if a student pursues health sciences and then moves on to LPN in their senior year, by the time they finish their summer quarter at Heinz, they'll be licensed practical nurses. So it's a really cool program. Uh, we have Miss Michelle Chambliss here uh, to represent practical nursing, doing things a little bit differently on nursing. We're gonna have four different awards. So for most outstanding, we have Miss Tierra Burns. For most compassionate, we have Antonia Copper, excuse me, Cooper. For the highest average, we have Michella Dorsey. And most improved, we have Tony Jackson. I think everybody knows how important healthcare is in this country. So way to go, future nurses. Good job. <laughs> Up next, we have precision machining. Our instructor for precision machine is Mr. Cody Britt. If you ever want to see some cool projects, come into Hans. He will turn on the machines and, and make something cool for you. Year one, first and second semester highest average, Keontae Sanders. And then year two, first and second semester highest average and two-year completer and winning the 2019 state championship at SkillsUSA for CNC, 
is Wesley Ballard. Wesley's here. And I jumped the gun there. We have some senior completers, Jacoby Blackmore, Patrick O'Neill, and LaKendrick Stanton. Okay, Precision Machine, thank you guys. All right, up next we have simulation and animation design. Our instructor is Mr. Robert Lord. And for year one, first and second semester highest average, we have Isabel Newell. For year two, first and second semester highest average and two year completer, we have John Erickson. And then our senior completers are Jalen Braxton, Derek Claiborne, Tremond Ellis, Cutler Lynn, Kevon Mallory, Brandon McGrew, and Sion Miller. Okay, simulation and animation design. Good job, guys. Last and definitely not least is our welding program. We have Mr. Steven Tuminello as welding instructor, and we have Mr. Ricky Nelson as our welding instructors. We'll start first with Mr. Nelson's crew. For year one, first semester highest average, Quintarius Allen. For year one, second semester highest average, Augusta Judge. For year two, first and second semester, excuse me, First and second semester highest average, we have Alexis Odoms. And also, Miss Odoms was the third place winner at the DTC High School Senior Welding Competition and received a $2,500 scholarship. Yay! <laughs> Other completers for Mr. Nelson's program, Xavier Bentley. Julius Branch, Cedric Gleese, Tazaria Sims, Reginald Thomas, and Mason Wade. Brag a little bit on Mason since he's here. Mason came in second place at that same competition and won a $5,000 scholarship. This year, it was my privilege to sponsor our Career and Technical Education Student Ambassadors. These ambassadors are a small group of students dedicated to the positive promotion of the VWSD CTE Center. They have acted on behalf of the CTE Center and have been the, the liaison between visiting schools, community members, and prospective students. The student's main job is to be a helpful, friendly face, providing information for those visiting our center. Our ambassadors have learned a lot about all of our other CTE programs and have been the conductors of many tours of the CTE Center. Please hold your applause until the end. Students, as I call your name, please come forward and remain at the front. Kiana Abraham. Kayla Burnham. My Kenya Davis. Deja Felix. Kadarius Jackson. Antonika Jeffries, Reginald Johnson, Makaya Lumpkin, Alicia Moore, Carly Smith, and Kimberly Thomas. And these are our CTE student ambassadors.
Good evening. Every fall semester, our career and technical student body elect fellow students to serve as Mr. and Ms. CTE. Mr. and Ms. CTE must be a two-year completer in a CTE course, must exemplify high standards in character and leadership, and meet the academic requirements. Students participate participated in the homecoming parade at their respective home school and serve as ambassadors of the Career and Technical Center. Representing our center this year are Mr. CTE for VHS, Reginald Johnson, Ms. CTE for VHS, Kayla Burnham, Mr. CTE for Warren Central High School, Kaderis Jackson, and Ms. CTE for Warren Central High School, Antonika Jeffrey. National Technical Honor Society. NTHS encourages high scholastic achievement and cultivates a desire for personal excellence. NTHS members are required to have a minimal of 3.0 GPA and must be recommended for membership by their CTE instructor. We have 41 senior NTHS <coughs> members this year. We would like to take this time out today to, rep to recognize our senior NTHS members. Kiana Abraham, Janisha Black, Asia Brown, Ja'Kayla Brown, Tierra Burns, Reed Bides, Brooke Clark, Alexis Cook, Antonia Cooper, Jordan Davis, Renisha Davis, Brian Dawson, Michaela Dorsey, Deja Felix, Angelica Freeman, Ashley Green, Preston Hall, Garrett Holiness, Jayla Jackson, Samika Jackson, Tony Jackson, Tyler Jackson, Kadarius James, Mayana Johnson, Laura Reagan Lowe, Makaya Lumpkin, Cutler Lynn, Kevis McDaniel, Sarah Beth McKellar, Alicia Moore, Braxton Morrison, Shai Patel, Smith Patel, Destiny Pearson, Rhianne Ponder, Jasmine Sanders, Brittany Savage, Zachary Shedd, Carly Smith, Molly Starnes, and Kaylee Wright. We would like to take the time to recognize our 2019 NTHS officers, President Tamika Jackson, our Vice President for Vicksburg High School, Jordan Davis, 
our Vice President for Warren Central High School, Carla Smith, our Secretary, Makai Lumpkin, our Treasurer, Jayla Jackson, our Parliamentarian, Janisha Black, and our Historian, Kiana Abraham. Technical Honor Society awards $250, $1,000 scholarships to current NTHS high school students nationwide. This year we have two students from our Vicksburg Warren chapter to be chosen. Those students are Antonia Cooper and Danielle Robertson. As a student service coordinator, I'm a member of the Mississippi Association of Student Service Coordinators. Each year, our organization presents a scholarship. This year, the board decided to present two scholarships, each receiving $250. Vicksburg Warren School District students won both awards. Um, we are proud to announce that the scholarships for 2019 go to Ms. Asia Brown and Ms. Sarah Emerson. This year, we decided to do a student of the year for our programs. So student of the year is meant to promote the success inside and outside of the classroom. So our instructors selected a student that exemplified character, dedication, commitment, and academic excellence within the classroom as well as outside. So I will identify each student that was chosen by their instructor. If I call your name, come forward to receive your certificate and your medal. Student of the Year for 2019, Agriculture and Natural Resources, Jacob McCloskey. <laughs> Biomedical Science One, Laura Reagan Lowe. <laughs> Biomedical Science Two, Carly Smith and Asia Wilson. <laughs> Biomedical Science Three, Miss Alicia Moore. <laughs> Business and Marketing, Deja Felix. Career Pathway Experience, Molly Starnes. Carpentry, Jeremiah Caitlin. Culinary Arts, Chef Lily Thomas Burden. Culinary Arts, Chef Phillips, Caitlin Hedricks. <laughs> Engineering One, Michael DeJesus. <laughs> Engineering Two, Kiana Abraham. <laughs> Health Science One, Mr. Bakway, and Tania Cooper. Health Science 
one, Ms. Thomas Lamaya Miller. Health Science Two, Antonika Jeffries. Law and Public Safety, Mr. Renfro, Jerry McAlpin. Law and Public Safety, Mr. Winoski, Malik Kilcrease. Precision Machining, Wesley Ballard. Simulation and Animation, Tremont Ellis. And Welding, Alexis Odom. Let us, let's give this group of students another round of applause. Good evening, everyone. I was hoping when I got up here for closing remarks, they had some literature that I was supposed to read instead of coming up with stuff off the top of my head. <laughs> um, but uh, before we conclude, uh, at the conclusion of this, uh, the Tech Master Scholars, we would like to take another picture to the left. Anyone that received a Tech Master Award, we'd like to take another picture at the left at the conclusion of this. Also, for those all students, we would like to take a group picture to the right on the, the, uh, on the uh, stairs, if you will. Um, before we conclude, we'd like to recognize two individuals, uh, passionate, dedicated educators, um, one individual, she loves what she does. She loves her curriculum. She loves her students. Um, she's, she's not a nurse, but she's a teacher. And she loves uh, teaching our children about the healthcare profession. Uh, this year, we was able to submit her name to um, one of Project Lead the Way's Outstanding Teachers of the Year. And this year, she was selected as a Project Lead the Way Outstanding Teacher for Vicksburg Warren School District. If you all could, give Ms. Leslie McGee a round of applause. teacher we're recognizing for some strange reason she's always telling me what to do like uh, she's my boss uh, but it was supposed to be the other way around I was supposed to be telling her what to do but anytime I did that sometimes it turned around on me and she was telling me what to do uh, but she is a uh, educator um, that has been in the school district for 24 years uh, and that's not counting the time that she put out in other districts uh, but she's passionate she loves what she does um, she, will, she will be retiring this year. Um, she will be missed. Um, at this time, we will call up Ms. Joanne Oliver. Stay one more year. Um, we'd like to thank all the second and third year completer. We definitely want to uh, encourage first year students to um, come on back next year and uh, the third year um, uh, to the Career Tech Center. We hope that your name will be called out next year for one of these scholarships. If I'm not mistaken, did I, did I hear a $5,000 scholarship called out? 
Okay, yeah, I, I, I thought so. Um, I don't think the only award I got was a perfect attendance. <laughs> My mom was gonna make sure I got to school. Um, now, in order to educate these students, we, we definitely have to give a round of applause for our incredible teachers of these students. So if you all will, please give me a round of applause for these students. We'd like to thank the parents and guests. Uh, we hope you all have enjoyed the program. Please, if you could, um, visit our website, uh, like us on Facebook, uh, spread the word about CTE. We, um, uh, as uh, Ms. Kelly Barfield mentioned earlier, all education leads to employment. And at the end of the day, we want to make sure that our students, our children, have some place to work after they, they leave education. At this time, that will conclude our program. And don't forget, our, don't forget about the pictures. Thank you all.